Indy Ridge, Indy Ridge, Indy Ridge, Indy Ridge. So, John, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> what I think about the hand guards. Don't listen. I'll do the other side. Scratch in I'll front do... of your viewers, then they're going to kill you. So, should you buy Harley parts or Amazon parts? <laughs> hey, guys, welcome back to another amazing production from Holy Shift. I'm Sandy. Today, I want to talk about three or four different topics that are uh, non-related or unrelated. So hope you enjoyed this video. First topic I want to talk about is riding boots, shoes slash sneakers. My go-to riding boots were always something named Blundstones. I don't know if any of you guys know, I'm sure all my Australian and New Zealand people know exactly what I'm talking about. Those are the most comfortable shoes ever invented that I wear them everywhere, everywhere, every day. And I was introduced to them like 30 years ago when I traveled Australia. I have a pair in brown and a pair in black and I love them. I wear them every day. They're great boots, boot slash shoes for work, for everyday use, extremely, extremely comfortable. But there's no protection on the ankle. They're somewhat thin and somebody once said that they might fly off while I'm riding. So I was searching and seek for a good, good alternative, but these, these are pretty much the best boots for everyday use that I use. Uh, when I just got the, the, uh, the bike, I seeked a cheaper alternative and I got these built, built sneakers, which are, I'd say in the 50, $60 range, very light, very cool. I even put a little sticker on it, like a little badge on it to hide the, the, the brand name because I was kind of embarrassed that it's built because it's a cheap design, a cheaper model. They're great, but they're very light and don't offer a lot of protection, especially in the winter. They're very thin, so uh, when it gets cold, I have to find something else. So for our trip down to Daytona, I was thinking what to get. And finally, I got myself a pair of uh, Red Wings, which are great. So obviously there's no introduction needed for the Red Wings. I got the Mach Toe, which is a beautiful design in my opinion. Problem is it's like three, three weeks, four weeks to break them in. And they're not riding boots per se, but they're like all rounders, great for everything. And they're heavy and rugged. And then John was always suggesting, hey, I just got a great pair of shoes, try them out. He said, Indy Ridge, Indy Ridge, Indy Ridge, Indy Ridge. So John, leave me alone. And then I actually saw the boots and I, uh, I said, you know what, let me give it a try. So I ordered these boots, Indy Ridge. Now, let me just uh, tell you, this is not sponsored. This is not paid. I, I paid for these boots. So my review or my thoughts, what I tell you right now is solely of my opinion and how I feel about it. So not biased, just my opinion. And I want to tell you something. These boots are great. So let me just uh, start by telling you how comfortable they are. I got them about a week before we went to, I got them a week before we went down to Daytona. And I thought I won't be able, you know, I won't have enough time to break them in. But I tell you what, I put them on and they, they, the, the leather is so soft, you pretty much, there's like maybe a day, a day needed for to break in. They were extremely comfortable. I rode them all the way down from here, like six hours, all the way down from New Jersey to Virginia. It was like a six hour ride four hours of, uh, in torrential rain and they are waterproof. So I got zero, zero water inside. I was nice and dry, extremely warm. I specifically also put Gerbing uh, insoles, heated insoles. So I was like, I was toasty, toasty inside. Really, really warm. They were really good. Once we got to Virginia, the, matter of fact, that whole time in Daytona, these are the only things I wore. I had them on all day long, running around the booths for like 12 hours a day. The boots were on me the whole time, rain, sh sun. It was, it was really, really comfortable. They are somewhat heavy, but that's because how insulated they are. And it's obviously a leather. So they're very, very, very rugged, very extremely comfortable. I think they're cool looking. They've got an enforced uh, front toe area. I don't think it's metal. I think it's some kind of strong polymer, some kind of plastic, extremely strong. Obviously in the ankles, both sides. 
there's some sort of a protection over there. And the boot itself, laces up really high. I'm currently only putting it uh, almost all the way up. Bottom is rubber, very comfortable, very flexible. Really seems like a, a quality uh, boot. Let me show you how the box looks when you get it. Look how pretty it is. Nicely uh, presented. Shoelaces in a different color. As a matter of fact, these boots are so, so heavily insulated. I'm not quite sure how they'll be during the summer over here. In Daytona, it was nice and warm. It wasn't hot. It was nice and warm and it was bearable. The shoes, I mean, the boots were comfortable. They weren't too hot. I'll have to test them out in the summer and tell you how they are. But up till now, three seasons, really, really nice. Really. Again, Indy Ridge. I think these are these are called the Indy Ridge Comanche. Indy Ridge Comanche. I highly recommend them. Again, I bought this with my own money. Really like these boots. These are my go-to boots for riding now. Try them out. I'm going to have a little link down by the description so you can check them out. They got a few other designs, different colors. It's a new and upcoming company. Really, really nice. My next unrelated topic is this little guy right here. And for that matter, I mean every dog, every pet that you own. The dog, man's best friend. Man's best friend. I don't know if you guys have a dog or not, but I can tell you, before I actually even start talking about Pico, my, my little friend, my little buddy over here, I wanna uh, dedicate like two minutes to my previous dog. A previous dog died a year ago. Up till now, I couldn't really, I couldn't really talk about him. Uh, still how the whole family had a very strong emotional uh, feelings to him. The 14, 14, 14. <laughs> 14, 14. Kids grew up with him. We had him for like 12 years. His name was Google. Is Google. And the funny thing is, whenever I came back from a ride where I came home, he was like so happy to see me barking. Here's a clip when uh, a day before, the day before he died, day before he passed, I came back from a ride and he was all happy to see me. Hey, Google. So guys, I just got back from riding this very second. I'm still with the gear on. My dog is welcoming me. My dog is welcoming me. Hey, Google. Yeah, hello. Hello there. Anyway, everybody, the whole family was devastated when he passed. He was like, you know, it's like another little kid in the house that, that grew up with my kids. And my kids really took it hard. And the funny thing is, the, the next day, of his passing we got this this little uh notification you know google puts out google google browser puts out every once in a while a doodle a little decoration on their uh, search bar so this is what we saw the day after uh he died our google died and my kids were like sent it to me said dad this this is a sign like google is telling us that that he's still watching us he's still he's still with us so that's that's Google. We will miss you. And and a few months a few months after that, we got Pico, our little Munchkin over there. Hey, 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 hey Pico! <laughs> yes, hey doggy. Hey, always happy to see me. Always happy to see me. Also, so peppy, such a different personality. Always hyped up, excited. Get it. The dog is so small, we keep sitting on him. We don't notice. He likes to be under, under covers. Right? Right, boss? Right? <laughs> sleeps with us at night, goes under the, under the blankets and sleeps with us. And he's, he's such a baby. I mean, I... The, our previous dog, I never let him lick me. He had, he smelled like tuna fish from his mouth. But our little Pico over here, he's a little puppy, pretty much. And, and his his mouth doesn't stink, so I, I don't know, I'm more open to him licking me. It's not that bad. Look at this bunny. Look at this bunny. When he's tired, he's so cuddly and fun. Right, Pico? Right, sweetie? Yes, yes.
<laughs> Stretch it. Stretch it. Yeah. 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 No, no, no licking. No licking, no licking, no licking. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I don't know if you guys have a dog and how you feel about pets, but the kids are so connected to him. They talk to him, they share with him, they stay up with him. So it's a real strong bond between a pet and a kid, especially for a kid. Pico, wanna say a few words? Yeah? Look, even now I'm going outside to talk about the third topic and he just wants to be outside with me. So let's switch over to the third topic. Third topic is the handguards. Handguards by Memphis Shades. Again, I paid for these handguards by myself. Not sponsored. Nobody sent it to me for free. Initially when I installed them, I wasn't crazy about the look. You know, again, it's personal, but it's a matter of taste. Whether you like it or not. At this stage, they've grown on me. The look. I can tell you one thing, they are extremely, extremely effective. They were a lifesaver. On our ride down from here to Virginia, four or five, six hours in torrential rain, my gloves were almost completely dry. This whole area where my hands were hiding behind the hand guards was dry. Obviously the top of, the top of my uh, the top of my hand was uh, somewhat wet because of the rain itself. But this whole area blocks the wind, blocks, I don't know, road debris would say. And they were really, really good. Highly, highly recommend it. Uh, I'll put a link down by the description where you can find it on Amazon. I think they were like 70 or $80. Really, really good concept, good idea. That's it. People ask me how I felt what I think about the hand guards, if you dig the look, better. If you don't like the look, then think about the winter times where your hands are frozen cold. Extremely, extremely effective. It goes on and off very easy by pretty much, this is the only mounting part. It's held in by pressure from the mirror over here and the bolt on the bolt on the bottom that tightens it. That's one flaw, by the way, I think that uh, could be done a little bit better is I think it's somewhat, I don't know, not strong enough, although as you can see, it's holding. But when I initially installed it, I wasn't sure, you know, I don't want to put too much pressure on the mirror not to crack this piece of plastic, this polymer. But I did straighten, uh, put a lot of pressure. I did tighten it down all the way. And it worked, so I have no complaints. You see, same thing other side, right here. So highly recommend it. Memphis Shades, very good. Remember, I'm all about bringing you the truth, bringing you things as they are. So about two years ago when I got the bike, I installed a few things that I found on Amazon. I wanna show you two years later how they look at this stage. Let's focus on the docking hardware. So look at the docking hardware that I found on Amazon about two years ago. Uh, up till now, they pretty much held pretty nice, did the job. They were, I think, a half the price of what a Harley part was. But I want you to look at the rust. Look at the rust over here. Look at the rust. Look at the rust here. Whatever is blacked out is, is okay. It's, I guess it's powder coated or painted. And that held up no problem. But the chrome parts, the chrome parts are okay. The, the parts that don't look right are the actual bolts that are uh, rusting, as you can see. All sides. Now they were covered. I had also uh, like magnet covers that I picked up on Amazon and uh, when I went over to John's and uh, take a look take a look at John's bike by the way now he got his his uh, docking hardware pretty much the same time I got mine okay guys just as reference I want to show you John's uh, docking hardware he got his pretty much the same time I did he got originally uh, original no nah, he got Harley <laughs> he got original Harley Harley stuff and let me show you his so you see no rust whatsoever Thank <laughs> you.
here as well. Don't scratch that paint. No, it's not coming off. No, no, no. Don't. Listen. I'll do the other side. Scratch in I'll front do... of your viewers, then they're gonna kill you. Here. Oh my God, I'm scared now. Okay, see? Nothing. Nothing on that. Just like new. So obviously, you do you do get what you pay for. That's the truth. You see the difference? Absolutely. The Harley, although it was, uh, I don't know if it was double the price, it was more expensive, held up uh, pretty much, uh, held up pretty well compared to this. So I'm not going to bash these. I'm just going to say that they did the job for the last two years. But as you can see, there's a difference. Uh, these, the rust over here. So if you can't afford the Harley one, the Amazon one would do, but just so uh, after two years, you pretty much need, need to uh, take care of that rust or in retrospective, I would probably get the, the Harley, Harley part uh, to begin with. Now, let me show you another part. Uh, again, installed from Amazon, I found it. Shifter linkage. Look what it looks like after two years, I would say. Looks pretty good, but when you look a little bit closer up, you can see that the chrome the chrome itself uh, is a little bit chipping or something with the chrome just doesn't look doesn't look uh, like when it was new. So there you have it. And these bolts, as you can see, they're also rusting. They're also rusting. Again, cheaper than the Harley parts, but not as good. So should you buy Harley parts or Amazon parts? Well, that's already up to you. There's obviously a very big price difference, but long-term, the Amazon parts that I bought at least don't hold up the way the uh, Harley parts uh, hold up. That's it pretty much. These were the topics I wanted to cover, non-related. Hope you enjoyed this short one. I'm Sandy watching Holy Shift till the next video, guys. Peace out. Right.